A lot of you talk to me and tell me all about your habits in the comments and I just feel so rude because I haven't shared mine with you yet. Being dyspraxic and on the neurological disorder spectrum, there are so many different habits that people with our condition have and I know some of you really feel alone with those habits and wonder if it's strange that you should have those so I'm going to share some of the ones that I have with you just so you know you're not alone with these habits. The first one really is a bit of a health and safety issue but I just can't help it. So I like to have baths every now and again because I like the sensation of being surrounded by water and I always make the bath way way too hot for me without realising because of my senses being overactive or underactive I can never really tell when the bath is too hot or too cold for me so quite often I get in a bath and then raise my arm up and it's like bright red. So far I haven't had any really bad incidences that have caused a burn or anything. This next one my boyfriend hates with every single passion within his body. Um, every passion within his body? Every bone in his body. So I have a habit of leaving lights on in rooms, more specifically when I've been upstairs and then gone downstairs, I'm always leaving lights on and he's forever repeating the word lights at me, but I, I can't help it, I just forget. It, it, it's just not like an automatic thing for me to be like, oh, light switch off, switch it on. It's just the switching off bit just tends to trail away. The next one I have mentioned a couple of times in videos, um, specifically in the restaurants video. Um, a big reason why I don't really like eating around new people um, or in busy places is because I get food everywhere and literally anywhere I can have it on the other side of the table, it would be in my hair, it would be on my face, uh, it, it will be everywhere. And it's not uncommon for me to miss my mouth when I'm trying to put food in there, sometimes I'll stab myself in the cheek. You know, it's it can be really embarrassing around people you don't know, but people you do know, you know, you can have a little giggle about it, but for strangers, it gets a little upsetting. But you know, we take it with a pinch of salt because we can't help it, so what are we going to do, laugh or cry? I'd, I'd rather laugh. I'm always setting really unrealistic targets for myself. There are some days where I'm feeling really enthused to do something and I'm like, right, I have a project, I'm going to do it, it's going to be fantastic and then it, it's actually way too big a thing I can handle or I offer to help people with something and I forget about my own stuff that I really need to do, my own self-care. I'm just a really giving person but always setting the bar way too high for myself. The other thing which is kind of similar but also not is I always start something and then get distracted and then forget that it was something I was doing. Um, most people might recognise this with the idea of, you know, when you go into a room to get something and then when you arrive to that room your mind's completely blank. Sometimes I will literally be in the middle of something, I'll hear a noise or I'll think, oh I need to do something or, or oh maybe I should go get a drink and then I'll go get myself a drink and then completely forgot what it is I was doing and then start doing something else. And then before you know it I've got random little projects just lying around the house that I've started and completely forgot were there. It's just, it's just what happened. So those are just five of the habits that I have. You guys are always telling me your habits in the comments and I feel really bad for not having shared mine before. Um, so yeah, we, we all have habits. It's just things that we do and it's nothing to be ashamed of. If anything, it's something to be celebrated because we all do it, whether we admit it to one another or not. Do you have similar habits to mine or ones that I've not mentioned that you have? I'd love to hear about them. It, it's always something nice to have a little giggle at. Remember, you either laugh or you cry. Oh, thanks for watching. Bye-bye. 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 Bye. -bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye.